I'm meteorologist Josh Knight, and we just want to do a quick recap of what we went through yesterday and why there was so much damage. You can see here, this is over the last couple hours from last night, starting around 7 o'clock there, as this line of thunderstorms moves through the area. Actually started back even through the other side of Ohio into Indiana and through Chicago earlier in the morning, and then we had this line of storms, and you see there, as it does make its way across the Appalachians, breaks down just a little bit, but still had plenty of wind with it. What we call this is a mesoscale convective system, and you can see here how these lines are a little bit bowed. And what that means for us is there's a lot of really strong wind coming down to the surface, and that's what's making it take on that shape of a bow, and all that wind is really what caused the damage. We didn't have any reports of tornadoes wrapped up in this, even though that's what a lot of times the damage looks like. Even just these straight line winds from these thunderstorms can knock down trees, rip trees out of the ground, even damage people's homes or sheds or property like that. So what we have here, just zooming in a little bit closer, you can see as it moved right through the valley and then even on the other side of the Blue Ridge got even worse. So we'll pause this and try and pinpoint exactly as those storms move through our area once we stop that radar. Just give you a better, a little bit better of an idea first through the higher elevations and then you see some of those stronger storms work their way through the valley as well. And once again, not tornadoes, just a lot of wind right at the surface. Some of those wind gusts 60, 70, even close to 80 miles an hour in some areas. Now we're going to switch over here. I want to show you some of the storm reports that we've had across a lot of the country. This system started, we we're talking, back in Chicago, and that's what you see farther off to our northwest. And look as it just expands as it heads over towards the coast. Every one of these blue dots is a W, and what that stands for is a wind report where they had damage. That means wind in excess of 58 miles an hour. It could be from trees coming down, and as we zoom in, you can see we're just about getting into our area, and with that in mind, here's Harrisonburg right along Interstate 81, all the W's in our area, but there's probably even more damage and more wind reports than what's showing up on here. But you can see this was a very strong system, and what they call this when we have a windstorm that goes for this many miles, the technical term is a derecho, and what that is is associated with those line of storms. That's exactly what we're looking at. This goes all the way back to 2 p.m. in Indiana. You can see here these still frames of the radar, and each time, we get a little bit of that bow in the system, and now we work our way towards closer to where we are right there. Doesn't have that same yellow and red color to it, but still a very strong system. This one traveling 600 miles. The big question yesterday was, is it going to make it over the Appalachians? And it absolutely did. We had enough instability in our area for that to still hang on. Let's switch over. One other thing I want to show you just how common these are. For our area, very uncommon. A big difference there for the western side of the mountains as opposed to the eastern side as we work our way into Virginia. What that is is one every four years for the majority of Virginia into West Virginia, one about every two years. So a big difference. The mountains usually stop them, but yesterday with temperatures around 104 degrees and plenty of moisture, we are able to get that in here. One last thing I want to talk about, just some pictures of damage. Feel free to send them over to our Facebook pages. This is one that we have here, and you can see this is actually from uh, Carla, and what that is is at, in Newmarket at the Rebel Stadium. You can see that entire section of bleachers blown over. Lastly, we're going to zoom up to the top a little bit. We do have another chance for severe thunderstorms today. Wind is going to be the most likely threat. We'll be keeping a close eye on that, not looking for it to be as bad or as, as all covering as it was yesterday, but still, keep in mind, our area we are under that 30% risk. For the latest, just be sure to tune in to WHSV online and also on the air. Thanks a lot for watching.